not surprised. Not surprised in the least. I'm just glad that the British public have awakened from death. They were put into doom and gloom in March, made to be afraid, and I just couldn't get my head round it. And when we went into lockdown, I didn't lock down. I went out every day. I was careful. I went out every day shopping. My husband was ill. He was ill from the 21st of uh, February till the end of May. But I went out every day. And the thing is, what I can't understand is, we're having these lockdowns, wake-ups, lockdowns. How many of these can we afford? The people who are going to suffer the most are our young ones and all the unemployed and all the businesses that are going out of business because of this lockdown. If we take care of all the elderly people, and I mean the government take care of all the elderly people, don't mess about for God's sake, look after all the old people and the vulnerable, there's some young people who are vulnerable and they need looking after and all the rest of us take care, go out, get out into the countryside. Even if you haven't got countryside, there must be a park, go out and walk, get some fresh air, and when you go shopping, be careful, but go out. So look, Maureen, if we could bottle what you've got... I don't want to be got, the Prime Minister. It's Kate here. Yeah, well, I don't know. Don't we'll ask you about that in a moment. If we could bottle what you've got, there's no doubt we'd all be better off. You've got fantastic spirit, fantastic fire, you know, uh, and people are loving your energy and your forthrightness as well. Speaking, I'm sure, what's on a lot of people's minds. But you say they need to protect vulnerable older people. A lot of people would say that you are one of those and they would like to protect you and your husband yeah, and by encouraging you to stay at home. I but I know that... I don't want... Carry on, sorry. I'm not going to. I'm what? not going to stay at home. I'm too old. Now, listen, Michael, Michael, I'm, too old. I'm going to have a word with Michael. Been... She says she's not being fastened yes. in a house. I suspect having married to her for so long, you know that she can't be fastened in a house. Is she somebody that is hard to, to get under control, Michael? She obviously sets her mind under things and that's it. No, no, she's not. Totally opposite. Oh, OK. She's very logical, very loving, very caring. Oh, I can see that. I wasn't and, suggesting uh, that. We've been married for 61 years and no regrets. And what she says is, is exactly what she believes. And that's because important. You, you, uh, the, thing, this is, the, the people think this is something new. Look, I've gone through uh, six uh, uh, pandemics and the only difference between this and the others is government interference and getting it all wrong. And, and to me, I could, uh, the, 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 they'll eventually come to see what has to be done. Can I just say, can I just say that we need for the government to get rid of the scientists because I didn't vote for a scientist. Scientists should go back to the universities and the laboratories. I didn't vote for Mr Whitty, and I wish that Mr Hancock, M Minister Hancock, would stop saying things that are foolish. We need Boris to get people around him who know what needs to be done, and what needs to be done is not lockdown. We need to get back to business. This country, the national health, we've got best national health in the world. But if we don't keep the economy stable, and well, we can't afford it, can we? Well, Maureen, I think it's what, as simple as that. What they would say is that the scientists look at the risk, and one of the things is why we've had the restrictions in place is to protect the NHS, isn't it? So that not too many people end up in hospitals. Otherwise, our hospitals, our NHS won't be able to cope. They'll be overloaded. So I know you're saying you're being sensible, Excuse you're me. taking precautions, but we can't have everybody in hospitals. Uh, we need to manage the risk from that point of view when it comes to infection numbers. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse yes. me. You go. There are more people dying of cancer. There's more people dying with heart attacks. There's more people dying of strokes. There's more people dying of flu than there is this. They keep publishing these figures about this coronavirus. 
and the figures have been inflation because people have been going and having death certificates for other illnesses and they've written at the bottom COVID. And when someone said, but they didn't die of COVID, it's all right. It's all inflation and it's all... It's just ridiculous. Okay. You've, you've become the, the voice of a nation in many ways. How, how's it been for you? I've never been in lockdown. And um, I don't think we should be in lockdown. I, um, I think that um, the government have got it wrong.